Um, yeah, briefly, um, for those who are now listening to this, again, this is Jerry Thomas. Um, I had a friend of mine by the name of Daniel Ayal, and he did get to come out and visit uh, with Timothy Trapp, the WITS organization. And uh, he uh, had, and we're speaking for him, our dear friend Daniel has departed. Uh, he left. He left us uh, this year in 2010, uh, and so uh, uh, Timothy's asked me to speak a little for him uh, in, in in his place uh, because he's, he was a very close friend of mine. So uh, I know that uh, he came out here many times. He got to see several things firsthand. Uh, he got to see wireless transmission of power. Uh, he uh, got to see a variety of energy machines. Uh, including, I think, uh, lightning uh, being induced in, in the air without clouds, uh, that sort of thing. So um, my understanding is, is probably what about, uh, Timothy, perhaps uh, uh, five to ten different things that he yep. got to see directly yep. that he uh, related to me and several others that, about his visit when he came out here with the WITS organization. And uh, we're sad, of course, that he wasn't able to present his own story uh, again, he's a very, very close friend of mine, known him for many years, and uh, uh, so again, you know, he's just another one of our eyewitness uh, people who got to see things and know things, and, and now uh, he's uh, left us. Yeah, and I'll just add a few things. He, he, uh, it was it looks like a heart attack, so we don't suspect any foul business or anything. Uh, but you know, he was a good man, and he did a lot of good things. He was a master machinist. And uh, he did get to witness the lightning that was literally rivaling nature, or was nature's lightning, but it's, it's the ability to trigger it and uh, direct it and so on. And that's one of the unusual things that the ministry has developed over the years and uh, that Daniel got to see firsthand. And as well as, like you say, broadcasting electricity, large amounts. Uh, did he relay to you the amounts of the power? That um, again, in the discussion Daniel had with me and others about the broadcasting of power, I, my, my memory is that um, I believe it was in the hundreds or thousands of watts. Is, is that, is that yeah. sound correct? Yeah, the maximum we showed him was 5,000 watts. 5,000 watts of broadcasted electrical power. Yeah, yeah. And um, a distance, yeah. did he say the distance by chance? Um, you know, uh, my memory's a little vague of the distances, but I believe it was in the miles. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I do recall. Yeah, yeah. Um, so about, about two and a half miles was the large, longest that I demonstrated. Yeah, and so right now, this is 2010, uh, approximately uh, May uh, here in 2010, and uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, the wireless transmission of power is getting to be a very exciting topic. MIT has discussed it, Intel has discussed it, and... So many, many people are, are getting on this idea, this bandwagon, that somehow we can transmit power wirelessly. And, of course, the WITS organization has been doing this for some time. Many years. So, uh, again, for those who are watching, and, and, you know, if you have a business mind, uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, a lot of money to be made in these technologies, and, and people, uh, you know, should realize that, yes, it's, it's good business as well as it's good for all this going green that everybody's doing to uh, help improve the environment. All right. Well, thank you, JT. And, yeah, we say amen to all that. And uh, we really appreciate you testifying for our friend. And we wished he could have done it himself. But, uh, you know, things, things happen to people. They, they expect them to be around longer than they are sometimes. But, anyway, he's a good guy. And this is kind of made as a commemoration to him. And he's in a good place now. We're going to celebrate his life, and we'll celebrate him now. And uh, and we just thank everybody again for your listening and your support. And so this cause is probably the most important cause on the planet, the world improvement and clean energy, uh, getting people closer to God, getting people saved and healed and filled with the Holy Ghost. And uh, we appreciate everybody, everything that everybody's doing. And we uh, invite everybody to join us. We plan to have online podcasts starting very soon. And again, this is May of 2010. And uh, so please look us up online and, and feel free to join us on the live podcast. We'll have those twice a week or once a week. Yeah, I'd like to say just a little more, Timothy. Okay. Again, what I'm going to say to people here now is, is whatever your beliefs or lack of beliefs, whether you're religious or non-religious, um, I, I just want to point out to people that, you know, we each have our own beliefs and we're entitled to them. And, uh, you know, some of you have your own. And what, what I would like to say real clearly is, you know, we all breathe this air and we all drink this water and we all live on this land. So uh, it doesn't matter.
doesn't matter if you're atheist or, or whatever kind of faith you are, no, that is not going to change. We're all going to breathe this air, we're all going to drink this water, we're all going to walk on this land. So uh, this business of, of helping to have better technology to clean up the world, this affects every man, woman, and child on the planet, and your beliefs or lack of beliefs have very little to do with that. And so uh, I just want people to realize that this cause is, is very, very important. It's the planet we live on. And so <clears throat> the reason I like to speak here is because I, I, I've only found a few people, such as the Wits Organization, who I think are in a position to actually help with that situation. So Amen. again, I thank you all. Amen. So it's a world-changing opportunity for our children, for our grandchildren, for our great-grandchildren. It's an opportunity to make a, to leave behind a legacy of better, of better conditions or world improvement technologies, world improvement conditions. And so that's that's basically what we're saying. And so I just encourage everybody to pray about it and do as God leads your heart to do to help. God bless you. And that's it. We're signing out. Bye, everyone.